Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to look at what my plans are for Double Game Week 36. But before that we'll look at who was the highest scorer in the Midnight Mule Mini League. And it was a very famous artist. The top team for Game Week 35 in the Midnight Mule Mini League was Set and Forget by Daughter Who Drew Logo for Midnight Mule. <laughs> and she scored 76 points. So it was one of my daughters, my younger daughter, that draws the little images you'll see and um, she has a set and forget team so the very first proper video I did on this channel at the beginning of the season was this one set and forget where I simply said you can set your team to this I show you the exact example exact players to get what to do and then you leave your team so you set this before the season even started and then the idea was that hopefully by the end of the season you'll be in the top 75% which in case you're unsure means you won't be in the bottom quarter. So that was the goal and she currently is inside the top 75%. So that's going well. So I'm pleased about that. And also as a bonus in the very first week, this is her first game week score. She was inside the top 2000 globally. So that was nice as well. This week she's inside the top 10,000 for the game week score. So this was the team. Uh, Salah captain for 20. Ward Prowse got 13. Ramsdale 10. Mares 10. Trent got seven, Martinelli six. So in this team, there was no Haaland because he was an unknown. And we said it before the beginning of the season. There's no Darwin. There's no Perisic. And those three were all very popular at the beginning of the season. This was all players that we knew about. So it wasn't great. And on the bench, we have Cancelo and James and Mitrovic and Ward. None of them played because, of course, we can't meddle with the team. We just got to set it and leave it alone. So that, that was nice for her that she got a mention at last. Top of the league is Jacob Eriksson with Skogs Clanton IF with 35 points. The global average was 39 and the highest in the top seven was 43 points. So low scores all over the place. And Jacob had, I see, McAllister for eight, Kane for eight, Captain Harlan for four, nothing on the bench apart from Steele. So made a very good call of the goalkeeper there. Steel got minus two and Kepa got three. And I'm sure a lot of people would have played Steel before Kepa. So that, that was a good positive call. As for me, there I am. I'm up to 101st. So still on the third page. I managed to get 48 points. I had Salah for 10, Trent for seven, McAllister for eight, Robertson for six, Matoma for five, and I captained Haaland for a total of four. And nothing on the bench. I got the goalkeeper wrong, but only by one point. So it doesn't really matter. So game week ranked just inside the 2 million. Overall points, 2,181. Small green arrow. And my arrows recently, I've got three green, three red. But they're all pretty small movements. And I'm resigned to the fact that I've got to just aim to try and finish inside the top million. Which I know is not great. But on the other hand, I've had a good time this year. And I've done some silly transfers. So that's all right. Uh, so I'm 22 points inside the million, so I've got a bit of a buffer, so that's nice there. When I made this last night, 658 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribed and everyone who watches these videos. I do appreciate it. On the FPL Game Week website, they have a content creators league. When you look at it, you see where you'd appear. And FPL Harry's still top. He got 38 points. Ben is down to third. I'm showing Ben because that's somebody who I follow. And Ross, FPL Raptor, he's finally back into the top five. Whether or not he managed to stay there, we've got three weeks to find out. So Harry hasn't won it yet, but he has got a lead of 48 over Josh from Always Cheating. So we need to see what happens there. I'm down on the second page. There I am. Still one place behind FPL Focal. But Oscar's, what's that, 49 points ahead of me, it looks like. So I probably won't catch him, but he is also making crazy moves. So... Now it's a race to the bottom between us two, I think. Back in game week 34, I took a 24 point hit because I brought in eight players. I had two free transfers and I said I'll track to the end of the season to see whether or not it was worth it. Rare to Edison this week was a minus one. That means that Edison, who I bought, got one point fewer than Raya, who I sold. Kepa de Gea wasn't worth anything. Henry to Robertson was worth five in my favour. Castagna to Stones, both got zero. Odegaard to McAllister was minus two. Odegaard had another good week. Martinelli to Rashford was a minus four. Jesus to Solanke was, made no difference. Darwin to Isaac was zero, so that made no difference either. 
So in total, it was a minus two this week. So overall, that set of transfers is a minus six for me so far. Hopefully I'll be able to get it back in the black, but we'll see what happens. As for this coming game week 36, my current transfer thoughts are I'm going to sell Edison and get in Fraser Forster. Edison would have been on my bench anyway. I could get in Steele because I will be selling March. That's my plan. But I would rather play De Gea anyway. So I know it means this week I'll be playing De Gea who's got one fixture instead of Steele who's got two. But I kind of feel that's probably safer. And Fraser Forster is only, I think, 3.9 million. And then sell Robertson for a Kanji. I do like Robertson. I think he's very good. But when I look at who I'm likely to play for the last few weeks, he would probably be on my bench anyway. So it's okay to let him go. And by selling Edison and Robertson, who are both very expensive, it means I can sell March and I can bring in Bruno Fernandes, who I really like. So I kind of think that's hopefully going to be worth it. Obviously, time will tell. So my captain this week, I'm actually intending to captain Trippier. He gets the old mule hat. And my vice captain would be Isaac. He gets the wee bonnet. So normally I won't captain and vice captain two players from the same team. But because it's a double game week, I don't stick to that rule. So I'm happy to go for two Newcastle boys. So my team as it lines up, and this is a screenshot from Fantasy Football Hub because I've not made the transfers yet. I have Trippier as captain, and then his two mates, Botman and Isaac. I've got McAllister and his mate Matoma in midfield. I have De Gea in goal with his two mates, Rashford and Fernandez. And then at the back, but really in midfield, I've got Trent with his mate Salah, and then Haaland up front. Now, Focal in this video today, he said he's going to put Haaland on the bench, so that's going to be interesting if Haaland smashes it against Everton. But maybe he won't even play, maybe he just get one point. And then on my bench, I have Forster, Akanji, Solanke and Stones. So there we have it. My plan for game week 36. Are you making any crazy moves? Let everyone know in the comments what's going on. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>